concept of non-governmental organizations as lo lobby groups. Like there's, there's 20,000 NGOs operating in Ireland, 10,000 of them are getting funding from the state. Uh, even today, I've been driving around Dublin and there's 200 billboards that ha have signs up saying, uh, you can't be racist and Irish, mm -hmm. you know? And it seems to be that there's an awful lot of lobbying, as you say, from an extremist point of view, rather than moderate in its thinking. And where are the moderators when it comes to lobbying and non-governmental organizations? I'm not sure which organizations. I'm not quite sure which organization. Yeah, it was in the, it was in the, yeah, hi. Would you like me to start again? Yes, because they can't hear the question. Of course. Can you just come up? To yeah, of course I can. If anybody wants to. No problem. Uh, right, we have the mic here, so if you, if you have a question, it might be better to come up so everybody can hear. Thanks. Yeah, how are you doing? It was, it was in relation to the fact there's 10,000 NGOs operating in Ireland. Sorry, 20,000. It's costing the state 5.5 billion a year out of a tax take of 50 billion. And even today, I said, coming around Dublin, like there's 200 posters up around now saying that you can't be racist and Irish. And it's costing, they think, a campaign of up to 68,000 euro for a two week campaign. And it seems to be that there's no moderation in the lobbying of non-governmental groups. And it seems to be, unfortunately, extremes in how uh, the funding is towards non-governmental groups. That's all, thank you. All right. Um, 